Well, hello everybody, and welcome along. Today, we are going to go and do a wonderful thing for all the lovely folks on YouTube, which is finding the spicy troll mushroom. So, you have to come to Karakit Peaks, and what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to make your way from the Flight Master down to here, and we're going to head up towards the throne room. And that's going to get us started. So, we've got to work our way around. Because Carrot Eight Peaks is a bit of a mess in terms of trying to actually figure out your way around it. And spicy troll mushrooms are great because they're spicy. But they also give you, like, uh, bonuses. So, you know. You can do that. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to head up as if you're going to go and see the big boss. And then what you want to do is, oh, I've gone too far. <laughs> you want to come off down here to the side. And work your way right the way around. Now this is where I got lost the first time when I was doing this because I was trying to do it off a um, just a text-based guide. Uh, I was like so confused because I completely missed this turning, <laughs> which is like right here, and this leads you out to sort of where they've got all the dwarf prisoners uh, mining for them. So all you want to do is you want to jump off here and work your way down until you see this portal, and this is going to transport you down to the area where the spicy troll mushroom can be found. And it's just so confusing to try and find your way around this place. Once you do it once, it pretty much becomes muscle memory to you. But then any other time, it's like, where on earth am I going? So you'll come to this crossroads. You want to go this way. It's to your left. And we're going to head down all the way. into here and what we're looking for you just see it here in the mini map is this wee fella here mixes Zagreb and he's gonna set you off on this quest called good eats and what you're looking to do is you want to complete all of these different things so you'll accept that and you'll see it's like highlighted all of these things up for you so the first place that you want to go is down here so this is where we're going to head off to first. And the reason for this is you can do the other two back to back at the opposite end. This is this is the one bit that's furthest away from everything else. You can do it in any order you want. This is just the order I've always done it in because it feels the most logical to do it. But you're going to come down through these tunnels. And what you're basically doing is you're just working your way to the far end of this cavern. And like in here you have everything. First time I came here I thought, oh, you have to go and do something down here. You have to go and kill these squigs. No, not a bit of it. You're actually coming all the way right down to the bottom. Down to this little guy here. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to try some of Slimer's Glop. And then right beside it, the squig shanks. And as you can see, that's now completed this part of the quest. So we can head back the way that we came. And we're basically wanting to run back past um, our wee quest giver. And we're going to head all the way back out to that point where we had the fork in the road. And we're going to head up to the other end. And we're going to go and visit some rather interesting uh, night gobbos. Who seem to be running... Uh, cantina. Weirdly. But, you know, what else would they be doing? Out fighting a war? <laughs> no one fights in Warhammer Online. No, we're all cooks. We just cook things. That's why you need the spicy troll mushroom. So again, this is back where we got our quest originally. 
So we're just retracing our steps at this point. And we're going to head all the way back out through this canyon and then we're going to swing a right to go over here. Now the one thing to be careful of, number one, don't fall down this big hole. Stay away from giant holes. It's a good life lesson. The other thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to fall in this sort of sludgy sewage water because that'll kill you. And if you can, <laughs> avoid all the bits in the middle because it's really easy to get stuck on them. Basically avoid everything. <laughs> and then all we're doing is we're hanging a right and we're heading over here. And we're going to come down in here. And in here is a little canteen. And you're going to see the greatest thing in the world, which is goblins riding squigs. Come on, Roar Devs. Let goblins ride squigs. Don't be cards. Gobbles need squigs. Think of the hilarity of having an entire goblin warband on squig. So... We've come in here, and we're like, what do we need? Well, first off, we need some of that Frenzy Brew. And then the second thing that we're after is the Cave Shroom Stew. And it is right around here somewhere. Ah, yes, here it's here. So it's right in this wee pillar. I knew it was somewhere. Really easy to miss it as well. And that's the thing with this quest, is some of the stuff is just in a really weird position. But, generally, if you look hard enough, you'll find it. And then what we're doing is we're basically heading straight over to the other side, over here into the hammer and hole. And we're going to get our last bits, and then we're going to head back and talk to our wee cook. So you can really knock this quest out pretty quick. And that's the great part of it. If you've got a lot of vaults that you want to do it on, you can do it. The only thing you have to be is you have to be level 16 to be able to get the quest and do it. So you have to be out of tier 1. And that's really the only requirement to it. If you've never been to Carrot Peaks, it can be a bit of a it can be a bit of a faff, I know, but yeah. So now we're over here. What we're doing is we're looking for this little doodah here, which is our Ratman slop. And then the final thing that we're looking for is the broken nose juice, which is this thing right beside it. And that's us complete. So all that we're doing now is we're going to head straight back down. We're going to go back to Mixa Zagrub down here, handily shown on our map. And we're going to get ourselves a spicy troll mushroom. And it really is as easy as that. And the spicy troll mushroom is great because it's a pocket item. And it gives you plus 80 hit point regen. Which is really, really good. Especially since it's the only pocket item realistically in the game that's actually giving you stats. You could argue that the um, Beast Lord book is something similar. But it's really just counting towards set bonuses. And I think it's got an on use thing to it. But... There's nothing else quite like the spicy troll mushroom for destruction, anyway. And all we have to do here is we have to try a couple of meals that he's made. So the first one's this one right beside him. The second one is this one. And we'll go back. All done. And then it'll give you this follow-on quest, so that if you ever lose your uh, spicy troll mushroom, you can get it back, but you have to kill 50 players. So just pick that one up in case you ever lose it. And then if we go to our inventory, here we are. Spicy troll mushroom. 
and it's right there for us. So that's how you get a spicy troll mushroom on Destro. Thank you so much for coming along and watching. And, you know, if you've liked the video, let me know down below in the comments. Or if you'd like to see any other uh, tutorial, please leave it down there. I always read the comments and I'll always try and get back to you. But until the next time, take care, all the best, and enjoy the rest of your day. See ya. Bye.